I'm Brian Eagle. Uh, I'm a research engineer. Uh, I'm actually a Weinberg fellow here at the lab also. Uh, I'm working with a, with a team to design and build a new enriched stable isotope production facility. Um, this facility will be the only one in the country and one of only a few in the, in the world that's capable of enriching and producing stable, uh, enriched stable isotopes. Those isotopes are used in a, in a very, very broad research industrial applications. We use stable isotopes in everything from medical treatments. They, they help to study human metabolism to a key ingredient in cancer therapies. We use stable isotopes for industrial and national security applications. Uh, GPS satellites use it in their atomic clocks. Cell phone towers use it in their atomic clocks. We have a fair amount of applications in nuclear physics and ba other basic science research. We're very much an enabler of other science, which is, a, which is very neat about the research that I'm doing is that you know, I'm touching a very broad amount of other science and allow other scientists and researchers to, to do their work. Oak Ridge is, is currently the, the, the steward for kind of the stockpile of, of enriched stable isotopes that the country has built up over the last 60 to 70, 80 years. Um, we haven't been enriching any of these materials, at least in the U.S., for the last uh, 20 years. Um, those inventories are being depleted very quickly. So there's a lot of, of materials that we're currently out of. So when, when researchers and industrial partners call us and say, we need this material, uh, we have to turn, turn them away. They're just not available. This new facility will allow us to, to supply those again and, and hopefully make them available for research that needs them and that can advance certain areas of technology of whatever these people are working on. In building this, this new facility for enriching uh, isotopes, uh, there's a number of technical challenges. What's, what's nice is that we have the history here at Oak Ridge National Lab. We started as an enrichment facility and we started as, as a plant. So we're building on a lot of the history and a lot of the operational experience that's here and then we're trying to improve that. A lot of this technology hasn't been researched, hasn't been developed since you know, the late 40s. We're taking that, we're building from that, and now we're using 60 years of advancement in plasma physics and simulation and modeling capability, and we're using that to advance the science so that we should have a uh, modernized, uh, higher efficiency facility for enriching, you know, for enriching these, these materials. I have a very crooked path that got me here. Um, I actually started as a manufacturing engineer, uh, building windows for about four or five years. Uh, loved it, had a great job. Uh, decided that I'd rather save the world with nuclear fusion. The neat thing about working at ORNL is the level of expertise that's here. You know, if I need an expert in in RF technology, I can walk down the hall and say, "Hey, John, I need some help with this." And the world expert is two buildings over or two doors down from me. You've got a space here that you can collaborate. You can get all these experts in a room and solve problems that people with with very narrow focuses can't solve. And that's, that's what makes National Labs great for doing research. Advanced research that you just can't solve in one discipline.